headed to the Gals on the Go office this morning. Here's my little fit. It's very cold outside, but we're meeting our new content assistant. So are we getting coffee, bro? She wanted to get coffee. I don't, we can get coffee in the office. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's not your fave, but. We're, it's my fave. Yes. And I will suffer through. She will suffer through. We're going to meet Caroline and go through some stuff, show her the office. And then we're gonna go record an episode of Gals on the Go. Yeah. We're doing a gift guide. Will be fun. Woo! All right guys, we're in the office, we're here with Caroline. And we are discussing episode ideas. We came up with a good episode idea yes. for next week. We're showing her the office and just catching up, getting to know each other. It's I so know. Fun. It's really sweet. Gals on the go. <laughs> All right, lunch break before we record. Going to Chipotle. I know, we're real New York. Oh, we're real New York locals. Absolutely. Um, it's a little chilly out, but we're living. Mondays are for gals on the go. But yeah, we're gonna record an episode, gift guide, ideas. We each came up with 10. And then after that, I actually don't have anything. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm so excited for Chipotle. It just hits when you're hungry. Oh, I'm so excited. At Brooke's apartment now, we're eating before we record. Oh, yeah. Gals on the go. I always, people always ask, but I literally have always gotten the same thing. I get brown rice, black beans, chicken, tomatoes, and lettuce. Very plain Jane. Let's dig in. Also, if I ever want to treat myself, I only ever get Izzy's at Chipotle because they always have them and like it just brings back memories. So here we go. <laughs> A dining mom. Oh my. Like staring out to this and thinking it's so funny. Oh, oh that's. Hello. Hello, you. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I don't, it's too sweet. Yeah. I literally said to Brooke, I was like, I need silent friendship time because after I eat Chipotle, I get in a food coma. My makeup's not wearing well, my hair, everything is a mess. But we're gonna get in the holiday spirit. Yes. We were watching the morning toast, getting hyped to record. We were like, we need to give some energy, but I, I know. see you. Um, I, I scrapped your Yeah, you're like, well, I see like, it. Wait. Time. I see it. Gotta have the Yule log on. I guess I'll do sound off. Yule log is sponsored. <laughs> it's a brand deal. Oh, you need YouTube premium. I know. I refuse to pay for it. I don't know why. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah, fun fact, guys. I have YouTube premium, which allows you to, like, you don't see ads. The reason I have it isn't because I bought it, my mom bought it because to teach her yoga classes. Thank you, I didn't think about that. To teach yoga classes, some of the music she can use is only on YouTube, so she had to get YouTube premium mm -hmm. in order to like play this music without ads interrupting, like a meditation part of the class. So now I have YouTube premium. That's great. Yeah, what a flex. I know. I really, like forget it's, about it's, I make no sense because there's some things like I will pay for. Like I'll pay for like all of like the HBOs and stuff. Like this I refuse to pay for. Alright, let's get after it. <laughs> it's getting started. Oh my gosh, Brooke, I'm giving you the mic. <laughs> Brooke has been putting this. I've been putting I know, it off. We we were like You got me in a mood. I know, Brooke was like ready to go and I was like, I need a moment and then, Brooke and then I felt joined me. Oh, in the let's fade. let's start. Let's start. Who's it? Who's you turn is it? Okay. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. We're so excited to have you guys today. We're in a weird mood. We're recording this like right as we hit our afternoon slump. Midday so, slump. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna get boosted because we're talking about the holidays. We, we are home. It's only 4.30, but with this time change, daylight savings, whatever, it feels like, it feels like a nice 6 p.m. right now. We had a really productive day. We had like a, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hour meeting with Caroline. Came up with some great ideas for Gals on the Go. And now I'm kind of at this crossroads. Cause like, I just, like it feels like, okay, it's like 6.30. I'm gonna like be in for the night, but I'm like, I do have some more time. There are some things I wanna do. Like sometimes I just like to have a main character moment and walk around. Part of me is considering doing that, but I also have a call at 5.30, so I need to be back for that. So I'm probably just in for the night. <laughs> Let's be real, Danielle. Or I could go to my roof. I just love being outside. So I don't know. Big, big Monday energy today. Updates to come on what my next move is. You guys don't care, sorry. Do not mind this. This is my step letter I have to like reach higher areas, but I'm using it as a drying rack because certain things I didn't want to. Do. I did like a huge laundry load last night, big Sunday energy. So these are the things I didn't want to put in the dryer. All right, I made a fast decision. Putting my jacket right back on. I'm gonna go to Dwayne Reed. There's some things I need, like very basic things. I need more toothpaste. 
I need more deodorant, like literally essentials. I want more eggs, bread, and uh, creamer at the bare minimum. So I think I'll go to Dwayne Reed sometimes. The Dwayne Reed near me is literally out of everything, but we're just gonna go with it. I should touch up my makeup. Oh my God. Do you guys ever just like take your beauty blender that had makeup on it from before and do this because that is literally what I'm doing and it's not really doing much, but it feels like I'm kind of trying. But then you just keep going. It's like, oh, I'll just put on a little. And then you just keep going. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, my camera died. Or it didn't die, the memory card was full. I'm watching Gossip Girl right now. I just always have it on in the fall because I've like seen it already so I can like do other stuff on my, on my computer right now. I just went to Dwayne Reed. I got a can of chicken noodle soup. It just sounded good for later. Eggs, creamer, deodorant. I got more like face razors to like um, razor off uh, peach fuzz. I love those and uh, toothpaste deodorant. Did I already say that? And now I'm just doing some computer stuff. Sorry, you can hear Blair Walter's voice. And I have this call in 30 minutes and then I just have a lot of computer work I need to do. So I'm just gonna have a night in and do it all. Okay guys, so I just had a call with my manager and it was just to talk about a couple things and then we kind of got in this like really deep combo and we were kind of talking about like what is the Danielle Carolyn brand? Because for so long I had this identity of being a student. And that's why you guys watch my videos is to be motivated and I don't know I'm just like when she said that I was like holy shit like I and I know who I am I know what I love and I know what I do but I was like I, I am like a, a new person now you know I've graduated like I'm not a new person but I have different interests than I did five years ago and so so many of you guys have been following me since I was in middle school and it's so cool because you guys have kind of followed me along the way but when she was like could you give me like three words as to you know what your brand is like immediately I was like ginger shots fashion and like feel good motivation I don't know ginger shots is very specific but that's like kind of what came to my head right away but I feel like and I'm curious to hear y'all's opinion on this is I hope that my content inspires you guys motivates you to get out of bed in the morning add some motivation give some fashion inspiration perhaps I try um, and really just kind of inspire you guys to follow your dreams that's so cheesy oh my gosh but I don't know I really enjoy sharing my life with you guys and also how I've kind of came to be the person I am today like I do stay very organized I do do these Sunday reset routines or Monday mornings um, but then I also think of like gals on the go which is our podcast and we're very on the go we like to be doing things all the time so I was like I want to figure out how to put those into three words because I think it just helps me and my content and I want to say thank you guys so much for being so complimentary of my videos recently i do have to shout out my new video editor jordan i haven't really ever had a video editor i had help last year with vlogmas when i was doing finals and i just like it was a pride thing i was like i don't need a video editor i got this and then it came to a point which is so crazy like post grad where like i literally love to video edit but i would get so picky and i would sit at that table right there for like six hours and edit which isn't a bad thing at all but then it was taking time up for me to actually create the content and i've gotten a lot more into tiktok and short form content and then the podcast as well and i i didn't realize how much time it took out of my day and i had like all these visions i wanted for the editing but i didn't have as much time as i thought and literally all of my closest friends on YouTube have video editors and it was just such a big pride thing for me but anyways I finally bit the bullet and my friend she's a friend of mine too Jordan shout out I love you so much she's editing this right now she has truly taken my vision to life and you guys are noticing it in the videos which is really cool so I'm really happy we like found a font we like she knows the music vibe um, she'll basically like send me the video and then I give edits there's this really cool website we use where I can comment on exact timestamps and then we'll edit that so I do still have a creative input and she'll text me and be like what do you think of this what do you think of that and I do still have a lot of input 
but she does like she came up with that little idea for when I take ginger shots for there to be something to happen So now we add the music and the little yellow background behind it And it's just it's been so much fun working with her and it's like it gets me more excited too when I'm filming I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see like what Jordan does with that, you know So I wanted to be transparent with you guys. I'm not over here trying to be like I have a video editor I don't want anyone to know because obviously my videos have changed and I think in a really great way because it's so my vibe That was very important to me. I didn't want to just work with someone and they like create something that's not me um, she's really kept the vibes very like on brand whatever my brand is. Oh my god, but Yeah, sorry. That was like a really random little conversation there, but I'm just sitting here the vibes are right I'm drinking a little cry. I'm literally I have a note on my computer. What is the Danielle Carolyn brand? I have ginger shots fashion NYC Florida feel good motivation morning journal Journal with you guys reset with me work from home college to post grad in New York City so if you guys have any comments on what I just said and have like if you're like oh this is this is what I take as the Danielle brand like comment down below I'm curious I feel like you guys watch my videos because you want to feel good you want to be inspired you want to see what it's like living in New York City but I don't really know honestly I really don't know so I'm really curious and I'm so thankful to all of you guys who watch my videos and subscribe and comment and engage like it means the world to me every single day. I've literally been doing this for 10 years and I pinch myself every day that this is what I do. Feeling grateful, feeling reminiscent, and I love you guys so much. Anyways, that's the vibes. I'm just gonna continue sitting here. Oh, my beads are in the way. Continue sitting here. Um, I'm gonna put Gossip Girl back on and just get all this computer work done and kind of plan the rest of my week and just see what the rest of my week looks like, where I have free time to kind of do some things for myself. I really want to get over to Central Park and look at the foliage because I feel like the foliage is at its peak. I feel like by the time I get back from Thanksgiving break, it'll be like dead and it'll be holiday vibes. So I need I need to get over there somehow. So hopefully I will. That's my long rant. Thanks for listening. Is the most attractive, brilliant man I've ever met. Darling, you're gonna love him. I kind of already did. Surprised you remembered. Not only did I remember, I remember something. Still doing some emails. I am a little hungry. I had the rest of my Chipotle that I had for lunch like an hour ago, but now I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna make some more broccoli. This will probably be a progression. Like throughout the night, I'll make some broccoli and then I'll probably make some rice and beans. Who really knows? But right now, I am just craving some greens, craving some broccoli. You guys know the drill. I just put olive oil and a little water to help steam it. And I use my always pan from our place. I freaking love this thing so much. And basically like steam it and cook it at the same time and it comes out so delicious. My broccoli is done. I'm FaceTiming Brooke. What's new? <laughs> we were, I said I was FaceTiming you. What's new? We were, we like joint respond to emails together. So it's like our voice, you know, like want to make sure each other is good with it. So we were doing some emails together and I'm about to dig in. This looks so delicious. What is it? Just broccoli. <laughs> I love broccoli with olive oil. It's like so delicious and like filling and I just need some greens in me. All right, so a majority of my computer work is done. Now it's time to clean. I like to go to bed in my room or my apartment. It's just like clean, crisp. Not that I'm about to go to bed. It's only 8.45. But I do you ever just like put off taking out the trash because same. I just let it pile up so it literally can't pile no more. So I'm gonna push it down. Ugh. I'm gonna take out the trash. I'm gonna, I have to wash my pan that I cooked the broccoli with. Um, I'm sure that my clothes are dry by now. Um, the ones that I have hanging up on the step ladder. And I washed my towels last night before I went to bed and I popped them in the dryer. So I'll fold those up and put them back in my bathroom. I have to take out my bathroom trash. I need to get a package. I ordered more hangers cause your girl has too many clothes. But I literally just cleaned out my closet. So I don't feel guilty about that. Like, I just need some more hangers, you know? And that's that, right? So that's kind of the layout. We will start the um, cleaning montage now, starting with me taking out the trash. <laughs>
I talked about this on my Instagram story already, but I got the Laundress and La Labo Santal 33 laundry detergent. This smells like the Santal 26, Santal 23 perfume, candles, home scents. Smells so good, literally smells like the one hotel. You guys know my addiction. And I just smelled my towel that I pulled out of the laundry and holy shit, it smells so good. So it's definitely not a lot, you know, and it's definitely a little pricier, but it smells so good. And if you're washing something, like if you're washing your sheets or like certain like comfy clothes or whatever that you want to smell like it, this is so perfect and I'll link a down below. All right, it's looking nice and clean in here. I'm really happy about it. I just sprayed, um, I was just talking about the laundry detergent. I just sprayed this um, on a lot of the fabrics in my apartment. This is the Santal 26 home fragrance. I literally got it personalized in the store. They ask you what you want to say. I wrote for Danny's apartment in NYC. It's so cool. I think anytime you get something from the actual La Labo store, they personalize the labels for you, which I think is so cool. So I just sprayed this on the couch, my bedding, my headboard, any fabric that would like hold the scent. Um, and I, it smells so good in here right now. Things you don't see, this corner of stuff. I have to take my bathroom trash out, boxes I just broke up, and then I have some giveaway things and other stuff like that. So I always like hide it in this corner, but the goal is by the end of the week to have this empty because I'm filming an apartment tour on Friday. I'm so excited. I was gonna film an apartment tour last week. I was just, my apartment was really clean. It was after Sierra had left, my interior designer. And then I was like, oh, it's about to get dark. I didn't want the lighting to change. And then I was like, should I go all out and like hire a videographer for this and make it really sick? And I was like, definitely yes. Cause I'm so proud of it. And I want it to be cool. I didn't want it to be shaky and me holding it. and. I don't know. I was just like, I want someone with a steady cam and to make it all cool. And my friend Alex, Shots by Alex, she's freaking amazing. She is going to be helping me out this Friday and we're filming an apartment tour. She's going to edit it too, make it so sick. I am so excited. She was like, I'll literally do it all. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm also just trying to keep it nice and clean and orderly in here until Friday when I film the apartment tour. I'm like, what do I wear? I'm so excited. She's going to like mic me up and everything. I just want it to be very like, Vogue vibes kind of like hey Vogue welcome to my Lower East Side apartment, you know kind of that vibe so I'm excited about that um, It's just been so fun really tapping into my creative energy here in New York City. I'm in a talking mood tonight clearly <laughs> All right, it's now midnight hair is in braids. I washed my hair. I took a shower It felt amazing. Oh my god, my room is so red because I have the color light bulbs I love putting the red light on at night. It really relaxes me apparently the red light allows you to release more melatonin or something. I'm turning off my lamp lights now, but my hair wasn't completely dry yet and I knew if I just went to sleep with my hair not contained, I'll wake up and my hair will be crazy. So I put them in some loose braids because my hair is still kind of moist and we'll see how it looks when I wake up in the morning, but it's kind of like wavy vibes. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sleepy. Don't think I'm gonna need to read or anything. I'm just gonna be able to fall right to sleep. Headed into the lair. Oh my gosh, it looks so red on camera too. Um, always like to have a water by my bedside. Ryan's texting me good night. Gonna put my windows down or my shades down. I will see you. Oh, hear those sirens. <laughs> see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I just took my hair out of the braids. They did okay. I hate when the front pieces don't really get waved, but that's fine. One thing that's really important to me when I wake up in the mornings is that I like whatever I have to do, I wake up early enough that I can enjoy, you know, the morning. I try. I mean, if it's something I have at like 7 or 8 a.m., it's a little hard. Well, 8 a.m. I can do. When I wake up in the morning, what I'm excited about most is my coffee. I get really excited. I think the act of making coffee is so therapeutic, honestly. That might sound really crazy, but I love it. And I just love rituals of the morning. I love showering in the morning. I will be taking a hot shower soon, but thankfully I don't have it anywhere to be quite soon. So I have the luxury of not showering right away. Um, I'm gonna do eye masks, like just the whole nine yards. I don't do this every morning, but on the mornings I can, I really do like to like romanticize my mornings as best I can. And I'm obviously really thankful I can do that. But a lot of you do work from home now. So if you're not on a video call, who's to say you can't 
you know, put on an eye mask and sip your coffee while you're getting your work done or while you're sitting on the Zoom call, you know? Like, I think in this day and age, we just feel guilty all the time for treating ourselves or for doing something a little extra when in reality, it's really not gonna change that much in your morning. I forget that it's okay to do things for yourself sometimes. Like, I woke up this morning feeling a little anxious for no reason, like, I mean, I'm sure there's a reason, but I just don't know what it is yet. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna make my coffee, which might not be the best idea when you feel anxious, but co coffee weirdly soothes me at times, if it hits right, because I, I just love coffee so much, and it just makes me happy. And I know a ton of, like, Taylor Swift's music videos just came out, or whatever. I already watched the All Too Well, like, Red TV 10 minute film thing, but I think there's other music videos that I haven't seen. So I wanna, ooh, so I wanna watch that. I just lit a candle. I'm gonna just slowly wake up because I'm still lit. like these are my first words of the morning. And then once I'm feeling a little bit more awake, I'll take out my doing well daily journal and write what I'm thankful for, my intentions for the day, what I have to get done, and then I'll take a shower and then we'll get ready. TikTok like the with the material girl sound. It, I did like getting ready to run errands is more fun than actually running the errands, like picking out your outfit. We love that. Um, I want to get some Christmas decorations for my apartment. I want to stop by Zara because the feminine urge in me just wants to go to Zara. I also really want to check out New Top Jewelry. They have the best jewelry and I'm just looking for like a good situation right here with my stacks. But the priority is um, Christmas decor. So we'll see if we get that. If not, I'll order on Amazon. But I was hoping, you know, I'm in New York City. I feel like I can find it somewhere. I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm really into it. So I'm wearing underneath just this button down top from Princess Polly. Nothing special. This jacket is definitely on the pricier side. It's from Rag and Bone. I've had my eye on it. It's so warm. I live in New York City now, you guys. I gotta stay warm. I love the color. I love how it ties. I just think it's so great. This tote bag I'm using today, it's got my computer in it because um, after I'm headed to the Gals on the Go office, Brooke and I are doing some final touches to the office while wow, the lighting just changed. Um, we're getting help putting together this like storage locker for our um, office and just like cleaning up some of the mess. And also we're gonna be on our friend Janine's podcast called Happy and Healthy Podcast. Leggings, these are the Spanx leggings. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. And then I'm wearing my Steve Madden boots. I will link them below. And then my sunglasses are also from Revolve. I forget the brand name, um, but I will link them below because I cannot remember the brand name. So yeah, here's an overview of the fit. Oh, we need to take a ginger shot. I'm sweating hot in my apartment right now, but I know as soon as I step outside, I'm gonna be happy that I'm wearing this jacket. All right, ginger shot o'clock. Cheers to our health and well-being. Here we go. Ah, that feels great. Woo! Ah. <laughs> that one burned a little extra. The beauty of having an office is I can stop by and drop off my big tote bag. My laptop was like weighing down my shoulder. And so I was like, I'll stop by the office. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna walk around and do all my errands. Pray for me, let's hope we're in Soho. So I'm also kind of hungry. All I had were three eggs this morning. Updates to come. office now went to TJ Maxx didn't see much for holiday season like they did 
but they didn't have ornaments and that's what I was really looking for. I wanted to show you guys the jewelry that I picked out at New Top. I created my perfect everyday stack. I'm so excited. They are so kind there. Susan helped me, but also Jane is there as well. So here's what we've got going on here. So I wanted, I've been eyeing their Instagram and looking at their charms and everything. They seriously are so helpful. I walked in, I was like, I want the perfect everyday stack. I want some charms that mean something to me different chain lengths, whatever. So we found this situation and I'm really excited about it. So happy with it. So this one is just a simple chain. And then this is my little New York necklace charm. So we have a Metro card and then I heart New York. I love it so much representing my new home. And then this one means a lot to me. Um, 13, you guys might think, oh my gosh, 13, that's such an unlucky number. But in my family, it's actually a very lucky number um, and it means a lot to me. It means strength to me. It means that my dad and my brother were both born on the 13th. It's also my brother's soccer number and I just really value the men in my life. In particular, my dad and my brother, they keep me so strong and so motivated and they're some of my biggest cheerleaders. So this meant a lot to me and I'm really excited and I can't wait to add more. Like I just want it to be so many necklaces here. I have my Kyle Cabin jewelry as well, like my Georgia chains that I want to add. So I'm excited to go home and play with it. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm waiting for Brooke now. I grabbed Dig for lunch and Brooke will be here soon. And we're gonna chat and then record for Janine's podcast. Eating my lunch, Brooke's here. Look Hello. how cute she looks. Outfit game is like on point these Thank past few so months. Much. I really, really have to say. I'm really inspired by you, I will say, because I used to just oh. be like Lululemon, like soccer mom vibes, and now oh. I'm like, there's a well, we're in New York. I'm working out too. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I noticed that. I don't pull for my leggings as much yeah. for that reason. <laughs> Dude, same. That's when you know you haven't been working out, but that's a that's another problem. I know, that's but you look great, thanks, darling. So we're, thanks. We're about to record for Janine's podcast. Brooke brought the mics. She brought a ring light because we're gonna need to use that when we start filming in here. So, woo! All right, here's our little setup. <laughs> We've got my computer. We're doing a video call with her. We've got our mics, and we're using the trash can. Um, so literal trash. <laughs> literal trash. We are, but the background will be so cute. I can't yeah, wait for our neon sign. Yeah. It's nice with the fresher. Yeah. I'm a thick sweater. No, yeah, I had it open more and it just got really sunny, but of course the sun's gone now, so. Oh no, well, well it's about to set for the day, actually. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh my goodness, yeah. Open her up, baby. All right, guys, our final piece of furniture is put together. It looks so good. Shout out, we used Handy. And yeah. it's the coolest app ever. We're obsessed. I'll have um, a code down below for you guys to you use. Guys, they saved fifty dollars. I gave Danielle my first. Like I shared my handy code with her, and we each saved fifty dollars. I think. Like, yeah. It's like a good referral program. Yeah. Like so. you both benefit from yeah. it, and it's just they they do cleaning services. They do handyman services. If you need something hung up, it's just so easy. And it's a I great know. efficient he, this app. This is a very confusing thing, and he came and put it together in thirty minutes. Yeah. He was like, I'll need an hour, and then he finished it. I would say 20 minutes, honestly. So it looks really good. We just needed like a storage little locker. So Brooke was gonna try and hang her coat. Are you gonna oh, do that in your sure. vlog? Yeah. The demo. The demo, let's see. Ah, uh, it's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> and we, we just have like, we have some pink coffee cups and yeah, just other little cool. things. We actually have a little makeup mirror too that Brooke got when we were doing our makeup here. Like makeup mirror yeah, so we're gonna like use this and this is a little um, cabinet as well in there. So it's just perfect. And then once the sign's hung up, we'll have everything. All right, so we're going to check out the store called Abode. You already went. Right. I have already went. With, I went with Ryan though. I and saw that you were there with Ryan. Home well, we shopping. were walking by, <laughs> home shopping with my boyfriend. We were walking by and I knew that they just opened on the Elizabeth Street location. I was like, I just wanna look really quick. Um, and they had some Christmas yeah, ornaments I that I think I wanna buy. I can't decide if I wanna do like all one color or like all, or like a ton of cute little ones. Like Emma sent me, there's an anthropology ornament that's the same as my mirror. Yeah. Like the gold, there's like a, I don't know, I think that's cute. No, that is cute. They had something. This looks so cute. Lovely day cafe. Yeah, I really like it over here. I mean, we just said. No, Lita's so honestly, cute. Honestly, we need to move to No, Lita next, I think. I know. I talk about this garden all the time, guys. It's a good one. Oh, the street garden. You heard oh. it here. Oh, yeah. Third. Brooke and I are about to go into the modern mystic and shop for some crystals. I was like, Brooke, do you want to go in? She's like, yeah, I'm going to buy stuff, though. <laughs> same, same.
currently cleaning my crystals. I'm so excited. Modern Mystic is on Elizabeth Street. It was a great experience. So I'm currently cleaning them in salt water, he said, for like 12 hours. Just because people obviously are in the store touching them and have different energies on them. So this will have a clean slate for me. This is clear quartz. I'm going to put it on my nightstand. It's very clearing. These two are soothing stones. I love them. They have like a little divot to put your thumb in. And it's like if you're feeling anxious or you need some grounding, this is zebra jasper and that's for grounding. So you put your thumb on it. It was very soothing. I loved how it felt in my hand. And then the rose quartz was just calling to me. <laughs> um, and it's also about um, self-love and everything like that. I took a video of like what exactly it was all about, but it was just more of a feeling. So that's what's up. All right, quick change for our friend Serena's launch party for her new game. She started Let's Fucking Date in um, like over quarantine and now she has all these different games and she's launching her new one today or yesterday, but today is her launch party. It's at Short Stories, which is actually a place I've never been to. I think it's like a bar slash club situation. I don't even think I'm really drinking, but I'm here for the vibes and I'm obviously really proud of her. She does the sickest marketing. She is honestly genius. She literally created an OnlyFans as a way for people to go buy her um, card game, but people thought she was launching just an OnlyFans, but it was just her card game. So genius. Here's my outfit for tonight. I'm really happy with it. I added the coat because I needed it, and I was like, wait, I kind of want to keep it on. Coat check who? Top is from Style Addict. I've worn it before. All my new necklaces. Skirt is also from Style Addict. I think the top's from Style Addict as well. My favorite Vince Camuto boots, and then this jacket from Princess Polly. I will link it below. I am seriously obsessed with it. It's so warm and I love the faux fur detailing on the collar and then the sleeve. And then my bag from Agora Vintage, of course. And then I just had, I literally just had to touch up my makeup and then um, I just brushed my hair the same hoops as I had in earlier from Lisa Goslin. And yeah, that's the fit for tonight. Let's go party. I'm kidding, but kind of not. I don't know. Well, the influencers have arrived. Just got back, it was a lovely event. I never had dinner, I just had like an apple and a protein bar. So I just made some chicken noodle soup and I'm putting on Netflix. Not sure what I'm gonna watch yet, but vibes are right, I'm happy. Good morning everybody. If you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. My apartment building is doing construction for the next two weeks. And I wake up every morning to the sound of drills. Love it. Um, I'm in the best mood. I woke up kind of early this morning, went and took some sponsored content and got um, coffee juice with our content assistant for Gals in the Go. I freaking love her. I, I was like, oh, I don't have much to do today. Like maybe I'll go to Central Park and like, you know, vibe out and see peak foliage. This is not working. Um, and then I realized I actually have a lot to do. So I need, oh, I need my planner. Hold on. And I don't know about you guys, but I get really overwhelmed really easy when I'm like, oh, I have this, I have this. I have like a thousand tabs in my brain open. And in order for those tabs to stay, I need to write them down immediately and see it through. And today's one of those days where I have all these things to do, but only a few I need to do today. So I'm trying to save myself here and figure out what's necessary. I'm so excited. I got invited to go to Veronica Beard and pick out a couple pieces, which is so cool. So I want to stop by there today um, and I already have like my makeup done. I just need to fix my hair. I need to post a story today. I need to submit a story today. I'm so excited I'm working with GoPuff. If you guys don't know, I'm like obsessed with GoPuff. I literally GoPuff stuff all the time. I go puff like Powerade if I'm hungover or I've go puffed ice before. Like they just are the best. They're now in New York City, which is amazing. I used to go puff all the time in college and now they're in New York. So that's really cool. So I was excited when I got that deal. We also have a to-do list on my phone and my notes when I'm not near my paper planner and I convert it over. I have some stuff I need to move to my storage room. I'm trying to clear it out before I do my apartment tour on Friday. A ton of my friends are coming to stay with me for New Year's Eve. And I'm like, oh, I should probably start making reservations for dinners and stuff while they're here. I also need to figure out where we're going for New Year's, all kinds of things. I have to do an outline for my apartment tour so Alex can have an idea of like the shot list. So yeah, those are the necessities today, I believe. So yeah, I think I can get this all done and still be able to go to Central Park or something because I feel like it's peak foliage right now or Bryant Park or just a park or go by the water. I don't know, apparently it's supposed to get Guys, it's not that cold out today. It's, 
It's 53 right now and it's getting up to 56, which is so nice because yesterday was so cold. Anyways, I'm gonna get all this stuff done. Just thought I'd update you guys. Also, shout out, my planner is buy what, not just my planner, but anything on Doing Well Daily is, or all the day books on Doing Well Daily are buy one, get one half off. So, and these don't have like an expiration date or anything. So if you wanna get two so that when you run out of the, your first one, you can have a second one, definitely do that. It's lunchtime. So if you know, you know, we're doing rice, black beans, and and broccoli it's just such a great filling lunch and I usually have leftovers for dinner broccoli's in there steaming away black beans I just add a little balsamic vinaigrette and usually onions but I don't have any and I pop it in the microwave I have this little microwave cooker I got on Amazon it's just so nice you put this on boom done so that's what's going on over here voila the ideal lunch in my life also my crystals are done being cleaned Got my soothing stones. <laughs> so I was making my bed and my sheets were literally so covered in spray tan that I was like, ew. So it's a sheet washing day. I really need to wash my comforter, but I straight up don't think my comforter is going to fit in my washer. And this one's not an insert. It's just like a duvet or no, it's not a duvet. I mean, it's a full on comforter. So it has to all go in together. So I feel like I might need to take this somewhere to get it cleaned. Um, so yeah, that's happening. I am in the best mood. We're about to head to Soho. We're going to the Veronica Beard store. I'm gonna pick out a couple items. I'm so excited. And today in store, 10% of all of their sales are gonna go towards Feeding America, which is so sweet and so amazing. I love what that's all about. Um, Veronica Beard has absolutely beautiful clothing. I'm excited to go check it out and let you guys know what I pick out myself. Um, so here's my little outfit. It's not that cold outside at all. It's almost 60 degrees. <laughs> so I'm in a puffer and a beanie, but it's hat hair, you know, and also the puffer. It's not like it keeps you that warm. So I'm just wearing this long sleeve from Boundless Loungewear. Um, I'm obsessed with their clothes. I also just got two sweat sets in from them. Puffer I recently got from Zara. Black sweatpants are also from Zara. And then you guys know the drill, white Air Forces. Got all my new necklaces on. I love how they look with everything so far. And yeah, my black Chanel bag. We're gonna head out and then from there, if it's still light out, we're gonna head up to the Upper East Side. I wanna check out Central Park. I feel like the foliage is at its peak. And also might stop by Anthropology because I want some ornaments because I haven't gotten any yet. Just left Veronica Beard. I got two beautiful pieces. I cannot wait to show you guys. And I actually ran into my friend, SK, who works there. We went to college together. We were in the same sorority. Such a small world. And so she literally helped me pick out an outfit. They're having an event later too and I'm really hoping I can go. So now we are going to head to the Upper East Side. We're gonna check out the foliage. So I'm really pumped about what I got at Veronica Beard. I got a beautiful blazer and some great pants. I'm so excited to show you later. And I just popped by the Gals in the Go office because I'm obsessed with it and it's in Soho. I just put my Veronica Beard bag there. I'm going to head up to Central Park now, have a little me time before the sun comes down. And then they actually invited me to their little cocktail event at the store I was just at later this evening. So I'm gonna leave the bag here and then I think literally come here and change into what they gave me because it's low key an outfit and go. Hoping it, hopefully I have time, but that's the goal. Either way, I'm gonna come back here before I go home, so. Yay, and I had to pee, so I used the bathroom here. Now let's go to Central Park. <laughs>
two pieces I got. My friend SK, like I was telling you guys earlier, kind of helped me pick these items out. This blazer is so cool. I love the patchwork. I love the material. I love just everything about this. It's a little bit of a boxier fit. And then these beautiful pants. I love them. They were so comfortable. I loved the thick, wide waistband. Um, and they're the perfect joggers. I want to wear this with so many different things. Honestly, these two looked great together. So, yeah, thank you, Veronica Beard. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, at Danielle Carolyn, to see how I style this because I'm sure it will be quite soon. Got a couple things from Anthro, too. My friend Keaton has had this mug in so many of her videos for, like, years now, and they had a whole section of them today, and I was like, it's time. And I don't have a lot of mugs here, actually, so I love this. It literally looks like the little subway. I don't know if that's what it's mimicked after, but it looks like when you um, get to a different stop at the subway, it says like West 4th or whatever. It looks kind of, I don't know. That's probably not what this is, but that's what it reminded me of. I got some more of these gel eye masks. I've never tried this brand. It's Skin Iceland. They're Hydra Cool firming eye gels and I just love stuff like this. It's fun to put on in the morning. And then I got what I was looking for. I also didn't realize this is 2021 on the back. I thought this was great for my NYC apartment Christmas tree because I have this mirror. This is literally the mirror I have out in my kitchen area. And this is just such a cute ornament. Emma, our graphic designer for Gals and the Ghost, sent me this and was like, you need this. And I said, yes, I do. Um, and I just love how it says 2021 on the back. And it's only $24, too. I know it's like a little bit pricier, but for such a memorable um, ornament, I think that's great. Guys, I have a special visitor to the, <laughs> to the pad. Hey. Look who it is. He informed me that season two of Tiger King is out. And I was flexing on him that I, I was like, you know, I, I met Carol. But you don't, you, you're not like best friends with her? We're not besties. That's I wonder if this season's gonna like show her in a better or worse light. Well. Yeah. It's only up. You can only go up from here. You have to go to Netflix. We were gonna watch the trailer. Then we were gonna go to the roof and drink hot cocoa because <laughs> I am, we're gonna try out these, I got Duncan Hot Cocoa K-Cups. They're not like coffee, it's just hot cocoa, but people hate on Keurigs. I love it, it is so easy, and I love my Nespresso too. I love them all, but this is just so easy, so we'll see how they taste. Um, I guess we'll do to-go cups since we're going upstairs. All right, we're gonna take our hot cocos up to the roof. Hopefully no one's sitting by the fire, except it's really not that cold out. I look really extra right now, but um, you ready, Ryan? I'm ready. You're born ready? Born ready. Here's your hot cocoa. Thanks, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Don't drink it yet, though. It's probably really hot. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. Got a fun day ahead. I'm so excited to use my new coffee cup. I'm gonna try this spiced pumpkin candle today. Feeling fall vibes. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a great cuppa. Ah, uh, the luxury of having a couch still hasn't settled with me. Got the whole beverage lineup. Guys, Michelle Choi is like my favorite YouTuber ever right now. She just posts a new video. I always get so excited when she posts a new video. Like she's so cute. Also trying out my new eye patches I got last night. They stay on so well. This side is just like a cloth material and then the other side is the cooling gel. Also shout out Shelby. She got merch, or she made merch for her Racket Club Resort, um, her Airbnb that she has in Palm Springs. And she got me a sweatshirt, I love it. All right, so I tried to fit my comforter into that trash bag and it did not work, but I just called the laundry um, spot near me and they said that they could wash this and I checked the label and it doesn't need to be dry cleaned because if it needs to be dry cleaned, it won't be done till Monday, but if it just needs to be washed, it can be done today, which is awesome. And I did just try to put it in there because I didn't want to have to take it. It doesn't even fit, like half of it doesn't even fit. So love that for me. But I'm just gonna walk down my street with the comforter in my hand. So wish me best of luck for that. I look like trash. I was about to start getting ready and I was like, let me get ready once I get back. Also, my hair color is just, 
Anyways, that's another story. I'm just not, what's happening? Things are happening. All right, let's go. I'm excited to have a clean comforter because I have clean sheets. Doing my apartment tour tomorrow. Have some organizing to do. We have all kinds of things we're doing today. I have a friend's giving tonight, all kinds of things. Well, that was literally so easy. I'm so happy about that. It'll be done later today. It's so gorgeous out. I am gonna grab a green juice because I'm on a green juice kick and they just make me feel so good and clear and it just sounds nice right now. So let's do it. I swear local bodegas have the best juices. They make it right in front of you. Mm. I cheated. <laughs> I stopped by the grocery store and got stuff for Friendsgiving tonight because I I do like to cook. You guys know this, but I don't think I have time to make mashed potatoes. And that's what I said I would bring to Friendsgiving tonight. My friends Mary, Steven, and Morgan are hosting a Friendsgiving. They're like my best friends from high school and I'm so excited. But I also needed some bread. I've just been eating like eggs in the morning, no bread or anything. Gotta have some sourdough. So I'm trying whole wheat sourdough. Um, and then I'm like, I just, wow, I hate myself for this, but I got a thing of mac and cheese to bring tonight and a thing of mashed potatoes because they didn't have a ton and I can't show up for like 10 people or I don't know, maybe it's like eight people with this much mashed potatoes. This is as much, I literally took it all. I wiped them clean and then I got a thing of mac and cheese. So hopefully that's okay. Um, two very popular side items though. So hopefully like people will just be very nice when they're taking their spoonfuls. Dropped off my comforter. This green juice is especially good today. I got one that had kale, spinach, ginger, apple, and lemon. And it is such a good combination. We'll be getting again. So yeah, now I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm heading over to the Manhattan Mall because the new Aeropostal um, is opening up there and they're doing like a little holiday pop-up. So they invited me to come and stop by. I've got a cute little outfit too because it's like literally not cold outside at all. But I need to put on some makeup. And then what else are we doing today? I need to organize, you know, you guys know. All right guys, here is my little outfit. It's kind of perfect for Friendsgiving tonight too. Um, I just put this little, this little look together feeling very... Very fall, honestly a good Thanksgiving outfit in Spo. Top is from Dish, it's D-I-S-S-H. I have a pair of shorts from there that I love too. Really cute clothes, I'm just wearing it kind of off the shoulder. Skirt is Princess Polly, a little plaid moment. And then I'm wearing my Lucchese black cowboy boots. And then the same black bag, I can't stop using it. It just goes with absolutely everything. We're gonna take the train up to Herald Square and check out the new Aeropostale, woo! I see, I see. Hey, have I ever Look been in one is. of your vlogs yet? I actually don't think so. Maybe briefly when we went when to we Brooklyn. The yeah, the designer. That was so funny. We ran into each other at the Aeropostale thing and she was saying how Macy's is right nearby on 34th. Yeah, and they just opened their windows today. So, so we're going we're for a little stuff. A little, a little it's so nice today. out. Have you told them about the weather yet? No, I haven't. I, guys, Margo, literally, you have to follow her on Instagram because every morning. I do a weather report. <laughs> it's called the Weather Snitch. Um, and it just tells you everything you need to know about how you should dress for the day in New York. Yeah, so Margo said you don't need a, fa a jacket unless it's for fashion. So I didn't wear a jacket. It's literally 66 degrees. I'm wearing tights. I don't even know why. I know, like my legs are sweating. Well, I'm wearing boots. tights for fashion. For fashion. For fashion. <laughs> Big difference. So, oh my gosh. So she said the windows are done. Oh my God. Oh my God. Festive vibes, I feel like. Oh my gosh, it's so happy here, all the music. <laughs> I don't see any clothing, maybe there isn't. Oh my God, this is actually really, how to fly, they're in class. I feel like I'm at Disney right now. <laughs> oh, they're still working on it. This guy back there is, um. There, there's a man behind there. Aw, so it's reindeer themed, I gather. I gather. I gather, I'm trying to use bigger words these days. Back home now, doing some work. I've Gossip Girl on, drinking some black water. It tastes like normal water, but it's black. And it has all natural alkaline pH 8 plus. I don't know, it's just cool looking, you know? And as expected, I've got my lunch for the day. Um, rice, beans, and broccoli. I don't wanna eat too much though in preparation of Friendsgiving tonight. I always leave Friendsgivings and food comas. I don't know about you guys. Guys, I'm so happy Ryan stopped by and had my comforter. This is so cool. They wrapped it up a lot better than I did. 
All right, it's a lot later. My hair is just a mess. I, ugh, whatever. Um, here is my little outfit for Friendsgiving. I totally didn't wear what I was wearing earlier. I just didn't feel like wearing a skirt. I found this top in my closet. I'm obsessed with it. I forgot about it. Um, it's this fun little cutout situation. It's from Revolve. So fun. Um, I have all my necklaces and then I'm just wearing my blue a goldy jeans and some black pointed Mark Fisher boots. Guys, it's 65 degrees outside. I don't necessarily need a jacket. I get, uh, yeah, cause I, I'm gonna Uber there cause I have a ton of stuff I'm bringing and I'm literally just gonna like walk into their apartment, you know? So I almost feel like I'm not even gonna bring a jacket. Insert, trying to like. This is so cute. Good morning. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> Good morning. I'm currently tidying up and cleaning the apartment. I'm finally clearing out this corner about to vacuum. I'm so excited. Today is film apartment tour day. So I'm like going to the dry bar, getting my hair done. I still don't know what I'm wearing, but it needs to be cute. We want to go like Vogue vibes for like the way this is filmed. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's what I've been doing all morning. Then we're going to go to the dry bar. My apartment has probably never looked better. It is all nice and clean. I've got the windows open for some fresh air. I am so excited. Um, Alex is about to be here. Here is my little fit. I wore the shirt last night, I know, but last night I was like, this would be good for the apartment to wear like a little statement shirt. So yeah, and then I'm just wearing some black leather pants and then I've just got my slippers on. Hopefully we won't put my shoes in. Um, just did my makeup and my hair is done. I went to the dry bar. So yeah, I am so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm nervous because she was like, we should take it all in one take. And so I've literally been walking around my apartment practicing. So stay tuned for this video. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I vlogged. The apartment tour went so well. We shot it pretty much all in one take. I think we just had to stop once or twice. It was so much fun. It like was, uh, it was everything I dreamed of. And oh, Alex is just so great. Like she just understood it. Oh, it was so fun. She understood the assignment. It was so fun and she was hyping me up the whole time and it was just, it was just a, such a wholesome little time. So I'm really excited. That should be up in like two weeks. Get excited. She's gonna edit it too and make it look so cool. I'm like, I'm very pumped about that. So get excited. I talk about where everything's from. I'm gonna link everything in that video. So get excited. How many times have I said get excited? So now I was just doing some computer work and I had to do some filming before the sun went down. Um, but we are about to head over to this pop-up for half days. They're doing like an opera ski event. Um, so I think it's gonna have like a pop-up ski chalet in their storefront or I think it's like a showroom and like a little cocktail hour. And I thought I was going alone and then Ryan called me and he's not working right now. Like he's off for the weekend. So I was like, come. And he was like, yeah, he loves coming to the events cause it's like free drinks and yeah, he has a good time. Oh, and then I don't know if I told you guys, but tonight, I don't know what was going through my mind. I was like, oh my god, my apartment's gonna be so clean and good. I should host a ton of people over for a pregame. Yes, that makes sense, but that means also tomorrow it's going to be not clean at all. So, but I love wholesome pregames. I like, like going out, but it's so hard going out in New York. I never know where to go. The plan is to go out tonight. I just don't know where. So I just wanted to have a wholesome pregame and like I invited a ton of people that I really haven't seen since living here. It's kind of like a different group. So I'm excited. Here is my outfit for tonight. I already know I'm gonna be wearing this jacket every other day. It's so cute. I'm risking it. It's pretty cold outside. I'm just wearing this taped up bodysuit. Um, and then all my necklaces. And then jacket is from Boohoo. I will link it below. I'm seriously obsessed with it. It's so perfect. Only 44 bucks. Pants are the Aritzia Molina pants and then my Nike Air Forces. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm not wearing earrings. All right, leaving the event now. Got a goodie bag. Ryan's got a beanie on and I think you need to wear beanies more. We'll see. I like baseball hats. And Santa, Santa's season's almost here. I know, but that's so good looking. But yeah, that was in the um, goodie bag. So, thank you, Half Days. It was a good time, a little pop-up chalet. We are headed to Chinatown. There's a noodle spot that Ryan really wants to try out. It's called Zian, Zan's Famous Foods, and it's a Chinese noodle company. So, we're excited. Hi. 
Plaza. Wait, how do we know whose is whose? That's yours. That's mine? Probably, right? I thought so, but it also looks spicier. Whichever one's not spicy is mine. Trying bubble tea for the first time. Yeah, get after it. Hey. All right, I really have to tell you guys, this is my first time trying bubble tea in a very long time. Like the last time I probably had it was in middle school and I didn't love it. I don't think I liked the flavor. I got it without boba, but I kind of wish I got it with boba because Ryan tried it, or Ryan got it. It's so good. I got passion fruit and he got the signature fruit. All right, just got back from Chinatown. We had a fun little evening. It was like a little date night. Um, about to go into some baby carrots. Um, also, bubble tea is so good. I already said that, but so good. So I got chips. I felt like I needed to have some food out when people get here. I mean, chips is literally nothing. Went and bought some liquor. Oh my gosh, and also in the goodie bags from the Half Days event, we got milk frothers. I was gonna, like, I put this in my Christmas wish list. That's so hype. Now I have milk frother, I'm really excited. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new here. About to start the weekend. Love you guys so much. See you later.